So for me, my art practice really speaks to the politics of visibility as it relates to being Black in Canada. It really is a spectrum from a kind of feeling of invisibility to a feeling of hyper-visibility. So growing up in a predominantly white neighborhood, not seeing people who look like me and feeling invisible in a sense, but also standing out and feeling hyper-visible, so being very aware of my Blackness. So it's this kind of um, very um, diametrically opposed sensation that's always with you. And with my art practice, I try and talk to that complexity and to that nuance of um, Black existence within Canada. So when you start to look at Black feminist theory, for example, there's a lot of emphasis that's paid to this idea of the margin and the center. And the center being a position of power that's predominantly white-centric in terms of the institutions, uh, the forms of knowledge that are giving more credence and so on. And Black women and a lot of racialized folks are pushed to the margins. Um, but from that margins, we have those margins, we have a distinct perspective. Even looking at the uh, example of police brutality, we've known this has been an issue for forever. We've been talking about this and oftentimes it goes unaddressed. Um, so it's really important to kind of center those perspectives, to really go into the margins and acknowledge the knowledge that's being produced there, acknowledge the perspectives that are found there and bring those to the center or even just get rid of that kind of dynamic of margin and center and uh, value and really um, honor what is happening, where black folks, where racialized folks are. This piece was from my solo exhibition at Studio 66. Essentially what you have is a piece where there is a mirror backing so when you're looking at it like face on, so from a position of the center, um, what you see is a reflection of yourself. And for me, what I was trying to get at there is that when you're trying to understand blackness um, and you're coming at it from this position, position of the center, so again, um, those cultural kind of um, biases and et cetera, you are not actually finding um, what you're looking for, what you're getting instead are projections. So what you get instead is a reflection of yourself. Rather, what's necessary is to actually move away from the center and into the margins. And that's where in the literature and, and kind of theory, um, black folks and black women in particular are located at, at those margins of society. And you have to move to the margins in order to get that real picture or that full picture of what black womanhood is. And then when you're in that position, what you have is a self-portrait of myself looking back at you. This is a position, this is an area where I feel comfortable. I don't want to leave the margins because there, there's power in the margins. So it's kind of, again, shifting that dynamic of feeling it as though we always have to leave the areas that we have really come to um, find knowledge within, where we've come to find strength. So how do we center the margins instead?